going on guys? July 6th, 2023. I uh, hope everybody had a good 4th of July. And uh, I was off for 4th of July and I worked a half day that Monday. And yesterday we didn't get a whole lot of footage. We really didn't, uh, we did a couple PMs. Well, actually one PM on a large, on a large um, facility with a VRF. I would have liked to got some more footage, but couldn't. Um, but you know, that's the way it goes. But we went back today to do the TXV that I diagnosed on Monday and it was hot, it was miserable, but uh, we went ahead and got it done. So um, we got it done and we got up out of there and the system's running a lot better now and the family has some relief from the heat. So uh, go ahead and take a look at this one. All right, we're back here at this unit here with the TXV. We're gonna try to pump it down if the unit will allow us. And we'll see if, uh, if that it won't work, then we'll have to recover. All right, we did get it pumped down, so I'm just gonna blow off this last little bit here as to not pull it down into a vacuum. I was surprised it did because I only had 25 pounds of suction pressure. I didn't think it was letting anything back, but I guess it is letting a little tiny bit of refrigerant back. So, all right, we got this done we're about to hook up our nitrogen um so we can flow nitrogen while we um while we take the txv off all right as we flow nitrogen we're gonna send it out of the tank through the gauges into the high side it's going to go through um well right now it's only gonna probably hit hit about the txv but that's all i need it for right now but then once we get the new txv and it will flow through the txv the coil and then back out here and it's just going to dump into the atmosphere right here. So I got it off right now. Once we get to, ready to go, then we'll turn it on and start flowing. So we're gonna go upstairs in the attic next and um, start getting prepped. When we go up, we have a bucket of water with wet rags, but we're also gonna try this stuff by New Calgon. Sorry, there's a dog barking behind us. This Thermotrap reusable uh, heat sink putty. So we're gonna put this around the TXV before we braise it to uh, help protect it. All right, guys, I apologize about the dog barking. There's really nothing I can do about it. And I guess the homeowners have no interest in quieting it down. So um, here's my TXV. Uh, gonna undo that. And then also my filter dryer here, all this is gonna get replaced. I'll probably just do a new piece of copper from here to here so I can undo all that. Um, yeah, should be pretty straightforward, pretty easy to get to. Also, the attic is packed full of stuff. Took me about five minutes to clear the path to get up here. So, I got that to deal with, but I do have a little working area right here, so that's good. But, all right, let's get going. All right, I got my old filter dryer out and my new one, at least this side, set. Got my TXV out. I just cut the distribution tube here because it's um it, it's easier that way. I don't know if I'm gonna unsweat this to sweat the new one back in, or I'm going to just solder this off and then drill a new hole because it's kind of a pain to try to get that in there. I don't know. I'll see. And then also to try not to burn the drain pan so we'll see but this is our progress put some putty on the filter dryer here to protect the paint and i'm about to braise this one and that is my piece going into my txv here so after i braise that on i will put it this end here and braise that side all right i got my new txv in New piece of copper here, new filter dryer. So I haven't been filming a lot because it is very hot up here and I'm trying to hurry up and get done. 110 up here with no air movement. <laughs> I did have the blower running uh, for a little bit of relief, but I couldn't keep it running with uh, while I was brazing inside here. So it is what it is, but I'm about to the leak search now. I just had... Um, just turned the um, nitrogen on, got it sitting at 300 PSI. We're gonna soap up some of these fittings and hopefully we'll be done up here soon. 
All right, pressure test is still sitting right at about 300. So I'm about to blow that nitro and then we'll put it on the vacuum pump. All right, we got the vacuum hooked up. We got our gas ballast open, but it pulled down pretty quick. We're already down uh, about, well, under 700. So we're gonna go ahead and shut the gas ballast. We're gonna let her eat and see what she gets down to. Should get pretty low since we're only doing the line set and the coil. It should get pretty low and then um, we'll release the charge and start it. I might actually have to let some refrigerant out because I feel like I may have added a pound when I was here the other day just to get it to react. So um, we'll have to see about that. I haven't changed the oil in the pump in a couple pulls. It's a little cloudy. Got her down to 282, but I think we can do better than that. So we're gonna go ahead and change the oil. I showed this in a couple other videos, but with this run quick oil change system, you can do it actually while the vacuum pump is running. So we're gonna actually get this one ready. This is fresh oil. You can you can buy these already filled, but I just like to take a, a gallon jug and just refill mine and uh, pull the top off. We're going to open up here. Let all that run out. down to about 231 230 we'll let it pull for a few more minutes i'm gonna try to get it under 200 and then uh do a decay test and we'll release the charge all right just started up um it's kind of still all over the place but already it's looking a lot better my suction pressure was 25 before so I've only been running for a couple minutes now. We'll let this stabilize. We'll let the new TXV figure it out. And uh, we should be good. I don't know. I might have to take out a skosh. I don't think so, though. We're at 12.5 degrees of subcooling right now, but we are kind of going up. I think we're only good. We only want 11 here. 10. We want 10 degrees of subcooling, so if that gets any any higher, it's at 13 now and going up. I might have to take a little bit out. We'll let it do its thing for a while, though, and we'll see. It is very warm in the house right now, though. I'd say it's probably at least 85 in the house. And it's we're in the shade right now, but it's probably in the mid-90s out here. All right, here's what we got. It's been running for about 10, 15 minutes now. Sub cooling is still a little high. I'm a little reluctant to take any out, considering how warm the house is, but I don't know. I'd really like to get that down to at least 10 and a half, 11. It'll go up to like 14 and then drop down a little bit. Yeah, I'm a little reluctant to take any out, but like right now, it's dropping back down, but it will, once the TXV uh, closes back, it will go back up. But it's not doing too bad. I mean, it's doing pretty good. It's still really hot in the house right now. It's 87 degrees in the house. I have a, like an 88, 89 degree return and a 71 degree supply. So I do have an 18 degree split anyway. Um, I really don't think I'm going to take any out. And, yeah. I think I'm going to wrap this one up. I don't know, I might follow up on it in a couple days. Once the house gets down to temperature. Because I just don't want to take any out and be wrong, so... 
I'm not going to take any out right now. That super heat's right in on the button though. Yeah, so we got it knocked out. We got it done. It was uh, very hot in that attic. Uh, it was up there maybe a total of an hour, maybe 45 minutes. Um, what I did was I actually unsweat the external, externally equalization tube. Um, unsweat that, but I actually drilled a new hole because I couldn't really see or get it back in the hole, original hole it was in without burning the drain pan. So I made a new hole and, uh, and put it in there. Sorry, the outside cat's meowing at me. <laughs> um, and, um, and yeah, but it, it worked out okay. So got that done. And um, one other thing I wanted to show you guys real quick, um, New Calgon emailed me again and they have a really good special right now. Let me show you the brochure. So here's the brochure here. Um, you get the Clean Connect sprayer from New Calgon when you buy a case of the New Calgon 4X cleaner. And basically what the 4X cleaner is, is they're smaller bottles, but they're four times concentrated. And all their popular um, solutions they have in these. They, it has the Cal Green, the New Bright, which is my favorite coil cleaner, uh, the Alcabrite, and the Tri Power uh, HD. And what this thing does is it actually uh, screws onto the top of these little mini bottles. Your hose hooks up to the other side, and it automatically dilutes the solution for you. Now they sent me one of these. I haven't got it yet but uh they sent me one to try out so i can't wait to try this thing out but this special has been going on for a while now but it's about to expire it expires july 20 uh, uh july 31st so it expires at the end of this month and promotion cannot be combined with any other offers so um really good offer this clean connect sprayer is a hundred dollar value and um it's a really great value so a case i believe four come in a case so um so yeah buy a case of them you get the free sprayer good deal and i will be getting one of these uh in the mail here soon so i'll be able to test it out and show you guys how it works but that's going to be it for this one guys so um if you haven't done so already please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and uh consider becoming a channel member it's 4.99 a month and you'll get uh some pretty exclusive perks so all right guys i'll catch you on the next one